In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact system that I'm using right now to send over 1,000 personalized cold emails every single day, completely on autopilot. This is the same system I'm currently using across 12 different businesses, and the results we're seeing are insane. With one company, we saw a 5.2% reply rate and generated over 72 meetings from just 1,000 emails per day. Another one, we scaled up the amount of emails to about 4,000 per day, and we saw a 12% response rate, generating over 400 opportunities just in the last 30 days alone. And we definitely would not be able to see results like this if the emails weren't as personalized as they are and if we weren't seeing this kind of volume. By the end of this video, you'll actually be able to recreate this system for your own business, use this to send a thousand emails a day completely hands off and book as many sales calls as you want. Now I want to go over to the screen share and show you guys a quick demo of the AI personalization system. So it's as simple as this. We have our list of leads. We've got first name, job title, final email. And all I can do is just click one button here on my screen and it's going to generate three to four hyper personalized sentences that we can use within our emails to 3x, 4x, and 5x our conversation. So if I just go ahead and click play here, it's going to go ahead and queue those. And as we can see here, it's generating multiple different sentences that we're going to use in our template. Now, these are generated directly with an AI API. And so the cost is incredibly low. We're looking at hundreds of a penny for every single run that we do. So if I go ahead and pull up my screen, I can show you what this email looks like. So for this specific client, we're working with an architectural firm that specializes in developing Mediterranean style homes. So this isn't our exact client, but this is an another player in the industry, which basically has a very similar offer. So this specific use case is for a client that's a property developer. They develop Mediterranean style homes, and then they want to pre-sell them before they're done being built. So that way they can go on and develop their new homes. In this case, we wrote an email targeting property developers and then selling them on our architectural services, specializing in these Mediterranean style homes. So if we take a look at this email on screen here, this sentence is going to be hyper-personalized to the research that we did. I was checking out this type of firm in this area, and I came across your company. Company. Then we follow in with another personalization, which is going to show, hey, we understand what it is that you do. And then finally, I was not only looking at your company, but I also looked at some of your competitors. And then we name drop a couple competitors that they're likely familiar with, really digging in and saying like, hey, you guys are all fighting over a commoditized offer. You guys all are developing properties. And so we're front loading this email with a ton of personalization to build that trust that we need. So we can actually convert those leads on the back end. Really what we're doing here in Clay is we're just creating a prompt and telling AI the sentences that we want to create. So you usually want to write your email first, get an idea of what it is in your template you want to personalize. And then on the back end within a tool like clay.com, you can actually go ahead and drive that personalization. So in this case, we know what we want our sentences to be. We have sentence one, sentence two, and sentence three. Now we just need a prompt AI and tell it how to do that. What I'm going to do here is I just have an AI web researcher, which has a prompt and tells it exactly what to do. And so I've typed in plain English, take a look at company website to learn about what they do, which industry they operate in, and where is their HQ. Go ahead and fill in the below two snippets. Sentence one, I was looking for, insert the type of company they are, in, insert which city they're located, and came across, insert the normalized company name here. Sentence two, I know you mainly handle, insert the top two types of projects they do in five to seven words. And then sentence three, I was looking at your competitors like, insert the normalized name of competitor one in two to three words, and insert the normalized name of competitor two in two to three words. Only write the sentence and nothing else. Keep each under 20 words and write everything in US colloquial language. And so what you can see here is we're telling it the sentences we want to write and we're also giving it dynamic fields. I don't just want to write this sentence, but I want you to fill in the back end of the sentence with some sort of personalization with information that you found on their website that I provided earlier. And then we're also filling in competitors that we already had that information and then giving it an idea of length and tone so it knows how to output those. Then it's going to output those as here's the top firms, here's what it is that they handle, so what it is that they do, and then here's their competitors and it's generally all those sentences separately. Then what we can do is come over to a tool like Instantly. We can go ahead and pull up their campaign and I'll show you how we actually pull in those sentences. First things first, we can just go over to their campaign and then we can see here how we're driving that. We say, hey, first name, and we pull in that custom field sentence one, saw, pull in sentence two. How does this actually work in practice? Well, when we're in Clay, we want to drive a new personalization sentence. We can just click insert right, use AI. We'll go ahead and select the web research model. Then we'll go ahead and put our model as 40 mini. This is a pretty simple task, so we can use this simple model as to save money. And then we can just give it a prompt, right? For example, we can just write the prompt. We want to generate that first sentence. You know, hey, I was looking for top commercial real estate firms in South Bend and came across holiday properties. The way that you would do that is say, hey, I want you to research this website type in slash, pull in the website from that table, and then go ahead and type in that sentence that you want and say, hey, I was looking for top commercial real estate firms in, and then you can put in here a bracket, add in the location of the firm based on what is 
on their website, close that out and then say, and came across. And then here you could just put insert normalized company name based on what is on website. And then I can say, keep it to 20 words or less. We'll give it some context, keep it to US language. And then finally we'll say, return the sentence and nothing else. So I'll go ahead and click save and run 10 rows. Now what this is gonna do, is gonna use my ChatGPT photo API key. It's gonna use the website I provided as well as the context I did to complete the task on my behalf. And so basically automating a lot of the stuff that SDRs used to do. Hey, I was looking for top commercial real estate firms in San Francisco and I came across DM development. And then if you come to our prompt, you can see that instead of asking it to write one sentence, we just asked it to write two or three sentences, right? And so it's gonna output each sentence as a separate field. So just make sure when you come down here to output format, go ahead and select fields and then add in sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, and it will know to put, you know, sentence two and sentence two and sentence three and sentence three. Then I can just come to here and I can add that field as a separate column response, which is the exact same thing I did here with the other one, just where it had three separate sentences. Then once I have that done, all I need to do is import that into my sending tool. The easiest way to do that is just to use instantly. So I'm going to show you a demo real quick of how you can set up mailboxes in a matter of seconds, and then how we can go ahead and import these leads so we can actually go ahead and send them out. The first thing that I want to do is I want to get some email accounts to send from. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here to email accounts on the left side. I'm going to go ahead and click add new. And then I'm going to go ahead and click some done for you email setup boxes. So I just want instantly to do all the domain purchasing and all the heavy work for me. So I'll go ahead and select these and I'll go ahead and select my main domain. So in my case, maybe I want domains that are similar to skirman.com, which is the architectural firm. So I'll go ahead and type in skirman.com. And now it's going to find some available domains that I can purchase. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and select three. And then I'll go ahead and say, I want to set up my domain. So I want those domains to redirect to skirman.com so that way if somebody goes to this new domain powerskirman.com it'll just redirect to my main domain skirman.com protecting my domain from getting blocked as spam getting reported while also maintaining that brand continuity then i want to go ahead and set up the name for the domain so i'll just go ahead and say they're going to be john at all domains i've got some different variations of my domain here john at powerskirman.com john.worthington at powerskirman.com worthington at powerskirman.com and you can go ahead and just edit these in any way you want so if i just were to go ahead and delete these and let's say I wanted them to be John I could click John and then I want the second one maybe to be John W I can click add and so it's just basically adding a different variation to all those domains then I'll go ahead and click place order now I've already purchased my domain so I'm going to skip this step but if you click place order you're just going to see your domains pop up right here in your email account box now I just need to set up a campaign so I can actually reach out to them so I'm just going to come here to campaigns I'm going to go ahead and click add new I'm going to type in the name of my domain let's say skirman cold out and then I'll go ahead and click continue. Now I just need to upload my lead. So I'll come here to clay. Once you've got the output that you want for the AI personalization, you can just come here, you can click run all. Then once it's done running, you can go ahead and just export it and import it into instantly. So I'll show you how to do that today. I'm just gonna use the more complex one that I ran. Now that you guys see how to do it, I'm just gonna click export. I'm gonna go ahead and click download CSV. Now you can just integrate directly with instantly and push it, but for the purpose of the video to keep it simple, I'm just gonna go ahead and come here to exports. So I've got that download. Downloaded. I'll go ahead and download that. Now, the next thing that I do, I just come to instantly. I can go ahead and just drag that file right here. Go to add leads, upload CSV, and I'll go ahead and drag it in. And then I want to map my field. What are the fields that I need? Well, if I come back to clay and I view that table, sentence one, top, handle, competitors, right? Those are my personalized fields. So what I'll do is I'll just come down here to sentence one, where I want to pull that in. I'll just say import as a custom variable, top, insert as a custom variable, handle, insert as a custom variable, competitors, I'll insert all those as custom variables. Variables. Then I need to make sure to import the email. So I've got my final email map. And I've got my first name. So then I can go ahead and click upload all. And it's going to go ahead and add those leads. Now, once those leads are in, I can go ahead and write my copy and reference those emails to actually be able to go ahead and send those out at scale. So for this case, I've already went ahead and pre-written it, but it's going to look something like this. But if we were to write it together, we would just say hi, and I'll put variable, and I'll put first name. And so if we go ahead and preview the email, you can see that it's just pulling in that first name, right? So if we go to the lead, leads one again we can see all those custom fields it's still processing but we could say hey first name and then i'll go back to the template that i wrote and say well how do i want to pull this in now this is the exact process that we follow so we just want to go back to our base template and then we can go ahead and put those in so we want that first sentence i was looking for top commercial real estate firms so in clay that was sentence one so i'll go ahead and type in variables sentence one if i preview that i was looking for top engineering firms in houston i came across lja engineering so that's right then the next thing is i want to say i saw and then i'll put in variable handle, which is going to be that second sentence. Saw you mainly handle development and property 
management. And then I can go ahead and preview that. Hey, so you mainly handle land development and water wastewater projects. So I'll just go ahead and throw a period at both of these sentences. And as you can see, we're slowly rebuilding that by pulling in those custom fields. So I'll go ahead and type in handle. And then the next sentence is going to be, I was looking at your areas and work with your competitors. And now we're going to pull in that competitor sentence, which is going to be competitors like Zillow and Rentler. Pull this in. And then I'll pull in that custom variable. I was looking at your areas and the work of your competitors like Atkins Global and Haskell. So, so we're slowly piecemealing this email together. Then we can just pull in the rest of our pitch and we've got our fully written sentence. Hey James, I was looking for top engineering firms in Houston. I came across LJ Engineering. Saw you mainly handle land development and wastewater projects. I was looking at your areas and the work of your competitors. Both you and your competitors are building houses that follow the same architectural designs. These cost a lot to build and then it goes in a pitch, right? And if you wanted to go one step further, you can pull in your account signature here and that'll add your email, your name, and whatever you have for your signature as well. So if you want to see how to set that up, you can just come to email accounts. You can select your email box. You can select one, go to settings and update the signature, or you can go ahead and select all your mailboxes, bulk edit, and update your signature that way. And then it'll go ahead and pull in your signature for that email. Now, once we have that campaign launched, we're almost ready to send it. Now, the only thing that I would recommend, probably add a couple additional steps. So if they don't respond to that first email, you can go ahead and hit them again. Hey, you know, just following up to see if you saw my previous note you know, best account signature, right? And so on instantly, if you don't put a subject line, it's just going to thread it with that previous email. So it'll bump that to the top of their email. So I might say, you know, Mediterranean style homes. We'll go to schedule. We can set when it sends, what time. We can go to our options. We can add all the mailboxes that we want to use. So those mailboxes we just set up. It's better to warm up those mailboxes before you send them out. So if you want to see my video all about email warm up, you can go ahead and click that here. And then furthermore, I'll say we have a ton of templates for clay, for personalization. We have prompts and we have have just email copywriting templates that if you want to use, I recommend join our school community. It's completely free to join. We have a community of hundreds of people who are all about cold email where you can ask questions to other people as well as download all of our templates. It's going to be at school.com slash cold dash email dash community. But like I said, go ahead and join our school community below and that will answer a lot of the questions and give you a lot of templates that you can go ahead and start to work with. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to personalize emails at scale with AI due to hundreds of requests from my viewers who said they really wanted to see this. I didn't have a ton of time to give you advice and tactics to truly succeed with cold email. So go ahead and check out the next video where I reveal all the most valuable pieces of advice that I learned after making over $8 million from cold email. These are things that you genuinely could not learn without being in the trenches yourself. And I made that video so you can apply those learnings to your own cold email strategy and avoid making the same common mistakes that I made. I'll see you guys over on the next one.